What's going on guys? I'm back from a long break once again with another fun project and in this video I'm gonna show you how to create a CRT effect using only CSS and HTML. So let's get started with our HTML file first. With Within the body I have a div called screen. Maybe I need to change the indentation. It doesn't matter, but it's for making the code much more readable. <clears throat> so I have a class called div co called having a class name of screen and then an image called bezel.png which is this one and it has a class name of bezel and a rickroll gif which has a class name of gif we can see here. This is rick. Anyway, let's move save it and move on to our css where i have used the asterisk to select everything and set the padding and margin to zero and in body i have height equals 100 bh and i've used display flex to center everything both horizontally and vertically now it's time to style bit more but before that I'm gonna give it a background image so background image um, URL it's like SRC source so I'm gonna use quotation and then let me just check so this is my folder I have three images here recrawl and pencil that I've used here you can see here and then wood dot jpeg so wood dot jpeg save it there we go now we can see the wood in here um sorry for that um all right now it's time to do something with our screen so specify the screen size and width things like that so position relative first of all because I need to I need this GIF and this bezel to be relative to each other and then height H -H -E. height will be 400 pixels width is Let's just say pixels. All right, now things are messed up, but we'll fix that right now using by selecting the bezel, comma dot shift at the same time, and then giving it a height. Sorry, position absolute and height hundred percent and fit will be also hundred percent so and also top is syrup because we need this to be on top of the bezel so there you go now things are looking a bit more stayed <laughs> a bit more stable so I need the bezel to be outside so I need the bezel will be always on top of the screen, right? So for that, I'm gonna only take GIF. So here, bezel and GIF have been applied all the styles here at the same time. But if I just pick GIF and then give it a set index, set index is basically like a stack of books. <coughs> uh, so in this is the top of the stack this is the gif is on the top and the bezel is on back of it so if i put negative one to it so there you go bezel comes out it's that symbol so let me just change the bit here 700 all right there you go so this is kind of like well this is somehow becoming a tv so we just need to add some some more things here bezel is gonna be having a box shadow that is 
uh, two pixels, two pixels, x axis and y axis. So these are x and y axis. Uh, it will be offset to that first percentage and then pixels, 8 pixels, which is the bl blur effect. So the degree to which the blur effect is applied. So I'm going to now give it a white color. Just so you can see here, there is this glow on the back, but I need a bit more subtle one. Maybe this black. All right. Now it's a bit, -ish, bit more grayish. All right. Now it's giving a 3D effect. It's a, it's such a small thing, but it adds so much to the depth or the perception of our eyes. Um. Anyways, now we need to give it a radial background. So this will be a new thing. So we start off with background image radial gradient so this gradient is gonna be something special it's parent comma BLA skip black sorry uh, I just need to put it right here I guess all right so you can see here the center is transparent and as it goes to the moves on to the edges it's black so radial just basically means it's a circle so let me just change the percentage to which is the, it is transparent so 20 percent it will be less transparent 80 percent there you go as we increase the transparency covering area increases so 70 maybe uh, 60 all right uh, 70 it is so it just adds a little bit of blackening to the edges which makes it real really 3d so yay we got a 3d tv here all right now it's time for us to do a scanning animation. So at keyframes scan um, zero percent sorry zero percentage. We need it to be trans transform translate y-axis is equal to zero percent and then just copy copy and paste it and hundred percent we need it to be hundred percent the transition or the translate and also opacity to be zero which means it will diminish as it gets to the end but there ain't no scanning things right here so I'm gonna create it on my HTML page so it's gonna be scan bar and inside that I'm gonna give one more div called scan so scan all right now I'm gonna style our scan here scan is gonna be scan height Maybe 20 pixels and width 100 percentage. Sorry, um, 100 percentage and in background color is gonna be blue. I will change it. It's just so you can see. It. There we go. It's right here. And also, I am gonna put the scan bar right here. So scan bar. All right. Um, and now I just need to change the Z index to negative one. Wait, that's not working. Um, all right. So all right. So dot scan 
bar all right now it's underneath and it's only a matter of giving it the animation so animation nay and then duration let me say 1.5 seconds and infinite all right now i'm just taking this skin bar apart scan bar right 100 percent Right, there seems to be a problem. Um, how about pH? So, this is happening because I put the animation to the scan. Actually, I wanted the animation to be inside of scan bar and now it should be working. There you go. Now it's just a matter of changing the color here. It's gonna be a dark color, a white color, okay, a light gray and then opacity is gonna be changed and also the height. So there is a scroll bar here and just don't mind that. Uh, I will come up with a fix for this but this code be, will be there in my github so I will put a link on the description so that you guys can go check it out. So I just change color. Alright now it's looking like it's scanning. Just change the rate of scanning. All right, there you go. This is your CRT effect. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new on the way. And until the next video, goodbye.